Hello guys, I'm here with another super fun smoker tutorial for you guys today. We're going to talk today about how to make a ceramic pipe. So pipes are going to be uh, bottleneck forms, just using a little bit less clay and a little bit more finesse. So I throw my pipes using about half a pound of clay, but again, you're just going to use however much clay, depending on the size pipe you're wanting. Throw just a nice solid tall cylinder, and then I focus all of my attention and energy after I raise my walls onto collaring that top section. Um, I often will give myself more clay than I need, knowing that I'm going to continue to cut off that lip and refine it. And there you have it. There's one take of me throwing a pipe. I also like to smush in that bowl piece right after I take it off the wheel, just because I tend to forget. <laughs> so I'm going to let you watch that again. Just really take it all in. I feel like a lot of learning how to throw is such a combination of visual and tactile learning. So. Watch this a few times, get your hands in some clay, and just feel it out. In order to make the bowl piece um, or bowl in our pipe, I like to just, after I finish throwing it right then and there, take my thumb and smush it in with just a little bit of water. Once you've thrown your piece and allowed it to stiffen up to become leather hard, you can trim it on a wheel. That's what I do. I use my Giffen grip. You could also use a chuck. Um, but you also can just smooth it out and round it out. It really just depends on the type of finish you're going for. I really like to give myself a foot or trim it on the wheel because I like to um, fire my pieces standing up like a little vase. So um, this part that I'm trimming is what I'm gonna leave unglazed and it's what's going to actually touch the kiln shelf. At this stage, it's going to be time for you to add a hole in your bowl piece as well as your carb. Um, just keep in mind wherever you decide to put your carb is going to dictate what hand you're going to use to smoke it out of. Typically, right-handed people will have the carb with their left thumb so that they can use the lighter with their right hand. Um, so just little things to keep in mind. Use a pin tool, use um, an old drill bit, use whatever you have. Um, and make a hole trying to keep it not too small as you don't want it to get covered with glaze when we fire it, but also not too big because you don't want scoobies going in your mouth. And here you can see me just making a small little flat surface just so when I lay my pipe down it doesn't roll around. So as you're getting ready to glaze these pieces, um, they do have a few options. If you notice the way I have my pipes standing upright, like they're a little vase, that's how I like to fire them, making that bottom foot um, wipe off all the glaze and just fire it that way. I really like this method because I don't need to do any sort of work after it's fired. Um, but if you want it to be glazed all the way around, you can use uh, stilts. Um, when you are glazing the inside of pipes like this, I would recommend watering down your glaze. You're really wanting to make sure that you don't have any clogs in those holes that you made. So I also will then go in with a pin tool on the holes and just clear off any excess glaze, really trying to make sure we have a nice, clean, open, finished pipe. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'm really excited to see what you guys create so maybe comment below what you plan on making your pipe look like that's it for this tutorial today guys thanks so much for watching and have a great day